Good morning, everybody. How the heck are we this fine, fine, fine? What the heck day is it today? I don't even remember day morning to you. I thought I'd show you a little bit of what I do when I'm blocking, is what it's called, my skirts. Now, mind you, I've got a stirrup plug right about here. So we don't really want to get that piece or that section right here bent too much like I'm doing here. So what I'm gonna do is go right about there. And I like to kind of do this. Just enough to get myself a little pilot hole started in the rawhide tree. Ow, watch your thumbs. Boy, I swear, every time I turn that camera on, something like this happens. That's <laughs> just me and my luck. Mr. Lucky. Now, like I said, and I guess I could just turn this around where you can see a little better. Uh, I'm not going to do a whole lot of blocking, which is, see how that comes over the side of those bars until I get right about here because that's where the stirrup leathers will be riding at and we don't want to impede the movement of my stirrup leathers. It's a simple, easy enough, it's not like rocket science, uh, task, but to get it to this point, oof, takes a whole bunch of eyeballing because you got to get this right here in the center of the tree. And you got to get this up front here level and centered. So that part, yeah, that kind of sort of is a little bit on the rocket science side. That nail is actually too far up. So, wet leather galvanized nails. Oof. And I use galvanized simply because it's wet leather. We don't really want any rust marks all up in here, huh? Y'all's got a bad camera angle right about now. But you can't see what I'm looking at right here. But I haven't found anybody that willing to come work for me, so I'll have to just do it with the tripod for now. Now, when I'm done with both sides, 
I've got a, oh, a stand, I guess you could call it. It's got a plastic shape of a horse that I will put this on. And then I'll come back in here and get, get this area right there kind of shaped and formed so that once it's dry, it'll have a good, good form to it. This is a little bitty old barrel saddle that I'm making. 14 inch seat. Ow, watch that thumb. Um, Semi quarter horse bars, four inch cantle in the back. And I ain't figured out if I'm gonna do a Cheyenne roll on it or a pencil back uh, for the cantle. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the skirts with that roundness in it, or if I'm gonna go ahead and make them very round. Basically what that does is Reduces the amount of leather that you have, which in turn reduces the weight and barrel ratios. And, and a lot of people are kind of sort of craving a lighter weight saddle. And I understand why they get heavy. You have to, you know, especially if you're a little short thing and your horse is tall. It's heck getting that all the way up there. You got it. I've seen. <laughs> I've been to a couple of events the last couple, three, four weeks, and I see a lot of people using little steps, you know, uh, to be able to get up on top of a horse. And yeah, I can see me doing it now that I'm short and fat like I didn't used to be. All right, there's that one. I'm going to go ahead and cut y'all loose so you can get back to work. I know some of y'all are watching me. Watching me while you're at work and stuff, and I sure don't want to get y'all fired up, fired or nothing. See, that's what that's going to kind of end up being like eventually. A little roll like that. But I'm still got to do this side here, and then I'll take it out to my little plastic stand I told you about. All right, boys and girls, thanks for watching. Come see me at davidmillsaddlery.com. Toodaloo, buggeroo!